Now today we're looking at the Top Don Elite Scan Tool. Not only will this read trouble codes, engine trouble codes, but also ABS and airbag codes. And a quick thank you to Top Don for sending this out to us. We generally don't do reviews on this channel, but considering this has a number of very good reviews on Amazon, we figured what the heck. So let's jump over to the vehicle and I'll show you how this works. Okay, before we plug this in, let me just quickly go over what we have here. Not only can it read and clear trouble codes, it can also read and clear ABS and airbag codes. Trouble codes would be your mass airflow sensor, oxygen sensor, uh, knock sensor, coolant temperature sensor. It can read it, clear it, and then turn off the malfunction indicator lamp. That's the check engine light. So it does all of that. Again, ABS airbag upgradable by the internet. And for those of you that live in a state that's incredibly strict with emissions, New York, New Jersey, California, I'll talk more about this readiness monitor status. Very, very important. Now the first step is just turning the ignition key to the on position. No need to start the vehicle, just turn it to the on position. Now looking underneath the dashboard, you have a connector. Now it's the same size for all 1996 and later vehicles. So what you do, you have the end of the scan tool, which still has this cover on it, okay. And then I'll plug it in to this port. Now this is what you're going to see. You have scan. Now the scan option, this is for your ABS and the airbag system only. Okay, so if you're, let me get a symbol here. If the ABS light is on or the airbag light is on, this is the menu you want to go into. Just to show you what this looks like, I don't have a trouble code uh, for ABS or an airbag, but just to show you what this looks like, this being a Honda, I just chose Honda. It's going to scan it. If I scroll down to read trouble codes, this is where you would see any codes that you may have. In this case, it should be blank, no DTCs, as you can see. So if I click OK, we're out of this. And this is to go back. If we check the airbag system, again, OK. No DTC. So everything is in good shape here. Now let me show you on how to check the check engine light. Okay, so that's OBD2 diagnose. So we go down to this. So again, this is if this guy is on, on your vehicle, okay? So you go into this, and it does a scan. Again, I don't have any trouble codes, but I'll show you where you would find all of this information. And also some other nice features with this scan tool. Again, this is something that uh, you can really go overboard with the amount of information you can get on this. So, the first option, read codes. The vehicle has no fault codes. If you had anything here, oxygen sensor, mass airflow sensor, idle air control valve, knock sensor, all of that would be listed here. And then if you wanted to erase the codes, you go into erase codes and that's it. Now, this is very important for anyone out there that lives in a state that's incredibly strict with emissions. If you ever disconnect your battery, if you ever erase trouble codes, what happens is it resets a bunch of different monitors inside your vehicle. So you have misfire, fuel system, comprehensive component monitor. All of these are okay. Now, when we get down to catalyst monitor, incomplete. That's a strike against this vehicle. Now every state is different, uh, but I could tell you, for example, in New York, if you have more than one incomplete system for any vehicle after the model year 2000, that would fail. It would fail the emissions. You would not pass the emissions, period. And you still pay the fee, which is 37 bucks in New York, and it's once a year you have to get it done. So the, they're very strict. But EVAP system, incomplete. Oxygen sensor, incomplete. What happened in this case is I just did a starter replacement. I disconnected the battery. And when you do that, all of these systems are reset. EGR, again, oxygen sensor, heater, monitor, incomplete. Now what would happen is you have to drive the vehicle a good 80 miles, maybe 70 miles, highway, local. Eventually, all of these things would change to okay 
but you have to drive the vehicle. It's a very good idea to check these systems before you go for the inspection. You know, the, don't let them take your money. Just, it's just a really smart to check these before you go. Uh, because once you're there, you know, they got you in a sense. Data stream, this is pretty interesting. This is really well beyond and above what most of you will get into. But this will show things such as the engine coolant temperature. If we keep on going here. Uh, intake manifold absolute pressure, 99 kilopascals. RPMs, that's because the vehicle is off right now. You can do an O2 sensor test, onboard monitoring, EVAP system test. This is really a leak test, which it passed. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, you can do a lot of stuff. This is also pretty cool. Down here, if you go to help, you could put in any trouble code, and it will tell you, what it is essentially so for example if you put p0100 mass or volume airflow a circuit so not only that though you can check for body codes in other words p is your trouble codes they have essentially with the uh, engine but you can also check body codes which is b you can really go crazy on uh, instead of you know a lot of us will will get a code and then go on google and see what that code is you can just punch it in here and it tells you what's going on immediately so really a lot of nice features. And like I said earlier, very good reviews on Amazon. And I think you'll be happy with it.